guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com, and today I'm going to show you guys an awesome 99 cent app for the Droid DNA that's going to save you guys a lot of time and effort when it comes to flashing custom kernels. Now, if you didn't have this application, you would have to, uh, basically, you'd have to hook up your phone to ADB, you would have to flash a boot dot image uh, through ADB, and, you know, that's not difficult, but it's easier just to be able to do it from your phone, and what if you're out and about and you want to flash a ROM or a custom kernel? Uh, or a different recovery and you don't have a computer with you it's better just to do it this way so the reason we have to do it this way is even though our devices have unlocked bootloaders uh, we still have security on meaning that we're not able to just flash kernels uh, through the recovery without a signature so uh, this application flash image GUI makes things so much easier I'm going to show you guys really quickly this is just going to be a short and sweet video uh, but you will be glad you watched it You'll just head to the Play Store and search for Flash Image GUI. It's 99 cents, well worth it. Uh, probably the best 99 cents you'll spend for your Droid DNA. And we'll go ahead and open it real quick. So you can flash a kernel image here or recovery image. So if you want to go from Clockwork Mod Recovery to Team Win Recovery Project, all you have to do is load the recovery image onto your SD card and you can flash it from here. Uh, or you can flash a kernel image or a boot image. So we'll go to Browse. Another thing that's cool about this, I uh, like with the cube kernel, for example, that's what we're flashing today. It includes the kernel, uh, or it includes the boot image that you'll flash from ADB, and then it also includes kernel modules that you would have to flash separately in recovery. This does it all at once. So we'll go to our download folder. We'll find the cube kernel 2.4.2. Uh, that's the newest version. And it extracted that file, put it in a temporary location. I have clear Dalvik and clear cache selected. It'll do that automatically. And we'll go ahead and flash the image. We'll select yes. And in just a few seconds, we'll have our new kernel flashed and installed. Very simple, very easy. Big shout outs to developer Joey Krim for taking care of this for us. It just makes our lives a whole lot easier. You will have to reboot your phone after flashing the new kernel, so we'll just go to standard reboot. And guys, that has been all. That was the flash GUI image for the Droid DNA. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you in any way. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Droid DNA, Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy S3, Nexus 10, Nexus 7, and all the other devices that I cover. Be sure to check me out at DroidModerX.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, Shane Stars with DroidModerX.com. And today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I've been running on my Galaxy Note 2. This is AOKP.